Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 16 to the power x plus 4x is equal to 3. We need to find all possible values of x. We can write this as 16 to the power x as 2 to the power 4 whole to the power x plus 4x is equal to 3. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This uh, 2 to the power 4 whole to the power x becomes 2 to the power 4x plus this 4x is equal to 3. Now, here we have 4x and here we have 4x. So, we suppose that let m is equal to 4x and we substitute m in this equation then this equation becomes 2 to the power m plus m is equal to 3. Now, we move this plus m to the right side 2 to the power m is equal to 3 minus m. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation by 2 to the power m. At right side we divide by 2 to the power m. So, this 2 to the power m will be cancelled with this 2 to the power m. And at left side left 1 is equal to according to this property 1 over a to the power n is equal to a to the power negative n. We can write this uh, 3 minus m over 2 to the power m as 3 minus m times 2 to the power negative m. Now, we write this uh, 3 minus m times 2 to the power negative m at left side and this one at right side. 3 minus m times 2 to the power negative m is equal to 1. Now, we want to use here Lambert W function that is W function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. To use the Lambert W function, we must have same expression here and same expression here. As you can see in this Lambert W function, we have same expression here a and same expression here a. But for now, here we have negative m and here we have a 3 minus m. So, to make this negative m same as this 3 minus m, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to the power 3. At left side, we multiply by 2 to the power 3. And according to this property, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. We add these powers. This power negative m will be added in this power 3. So, this expression becomes 3 minus m times 2 to the power 3 minus m is equal to 1 time 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3. Now, we have same expression here 3 minus m and same expression here 3 minus m. But to use the Lambert W function, we must have e in place of this 2. As you can see in this Lambert W function, we have e here. So, to bring e in place of this 2, we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property, e to the power ln of 2 is equal to 2. So, we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2 like this 3 
minus m times we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2 whole to the power this power 3 minus m is equal to this 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Now according to this property a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power ln of 2 by this power 3 minus m. So this expression becomes 3 minus m times e to the power ln of 2 times 3 minus m 3 minus m times ln of 2 is equal to 8. Now here we have 3 minus m times ln of 2 and here we have only 3 minus m. To make this 3 minus m same as this 3 minus m times ln of 2 we multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 2. At left side we multiply by ln of 2. So ln of 2 times 3 minus m 3 minus m times ln of 2 times e to the power 3 minus m times ln of 2 is equal to 8 times ln of 2. Now we have same expression here 3 minus m times ln of 2 and here we have same power of e 3 minus m times ln of 2. We can use Lambert W function at the left side but we want to use the Lambert W function at the right side too. So first let's make this right side such that we can use Lambert W function at the right side. This uh, left side remains same and we work on only this right side. This 8 times ln of 2 is equal to, we can write this 8 as 4 times 2 times ln of 2. Next, according to this natural log property, m times ln of a is equal to ln of a to the power m. This 2, this 2 will become the power of this 2. So this expression becomes 4 times ln of 2 to the power 2. And at left side we have this expression 3 minus m times ln of 2 times e to the power 3 minus m times ln of 2. Next, 4 times ln of 2 to the power 2 is same as ln of 4. Now to use the Lambert W function here, that is W function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. We must have e in this expression. As you can see in this Lambert W function, we have e here. So to bring e in this expression, we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property, e to the power ln of 4 is equal to 4. So we replace this 4 with this e to the power ln of 4. Then this expression becomes, we replace this 4 with this e to the power ln of 4 times this ln of 4, ln of 4. Now we change the position of this ln of 4. We write this ln of 4 first and then we write this e to the power ln of 4 like this ln of 4 times e to the power ln of 4. And at left side we have this expression 3 minus m times 
ln of 2 times e to the power 3 minus m times ln of 2. Now, at both sides we have same expression here 3 minus m times ln of 2 and here we have same power of e 3 minus m times ln of 2 and here we have same expression ln of 4 and here we have same power of e ln of 4. So, we apply Lambert W function on both sides of this equation and Lambert W function of this expression is equal to this 3 minus m times ln of 2. So, at left side left 3 minus m times ln of 2 is equal to Lambert W function of ln of 4 times e to the power ln of 4 is equal to ln of 4. So, at right side left ln of 4. Next, 3 minus m times ln of 2 is equal to, we can write this ln of 4 as ln of 2 to the power 2 and 3 minus m times ln of 2 is equal to, we can write this ln of 2 to the power 2 as 2 times ln of 2 and from here we divide both sides of this equation by ln of 2. At right side we divide by ln of 2. So, this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and here left 3 minus m is equal to 2. Now, we move this negative m to the right side and this 2 to the left side. So, this expression becomes 3 minus 2 is equal to m and m is equal to 1. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that m is equal to 4 times x we have supposed that m is equal to 4 times x now to find the value of x in place of this m we put the value of m 1. So, 4 times x is equal to 1 and this implies that x is equal to 1 over 4. This is the value of x, this is the final answer of this equation.